dear friends. I am very happy that in a very short span of my schedule here in Bhubaneswar uh, in Tata, I could visit the High Court building as well as I could inaugurate the office of the Deputy Solicitor General of India here in Tata High Court. And also I had this opportunity to interact with the Honorable Chief Justice and his uh, senior colleagues, the Honorable Judges of the Odisha High Court. And also I came across many senior lawyers, some of them uh, representing the central government and many of the senior advocates here who are serving the state of Odisha and the High Court of Odisha. I just would like to first of all thank Honorable Chief Justice for giving a space to our Deputy Solicitor General to establish his office here at Orissa High Court. Office <coughs> so special, even is small in size, but within the complex, within the High Court complex to get a space itself is very special. So I already inaugurated it, but he has already started functioning uh, from that space. And it seems he has got a good team of uh, lawyers supporting the deputy SG. And I would like to see our lawyers to be more proactive in terms of not only dealing with the cases, but in terms of establishing relationship, especially with the judges. <laughs> the honorable judges of the High Court in Odisha are very, very hard working. Before I was here, I already did certain studies, certain uh, personal assessment about each high court. So, as in a brief manner, the Chief Justice has mentioned, the rate of disposal of the cases, the way the judges are handling the cases or the matters, the way judges are treating the lawyers, how the overall conduct of the judges, what I have seen in Odisha High Court is one of the best in the country. It is also precisely because there is a very smooth relationship between the bench and the bar here. There is no untold incidents being reported. The relationship between bar and bench has to be absolutely seamless because one cannot function without others. It is two sides of the same coin. So bar and bench are the key bodies for any judiciary or in the system in which we are functioning in our democracy, bar and bench forms the critical part of our judiciary and without their smooth relationship it will be difficult for the common man to be access to justice. The Odisha High Court is, all of you are well aware, it is a blend of the heritage touch with our modern outlook. I have this opportunity to visit some of the rooms, including the, the original room of the Chief Justice, his courtroom, and the other facilities in the High Court. I am told that in the recent time, lots of cleaning, lots of digitalization, so many efforts are being carried forward. And it is visibly seen, I could feel it, that it, while walking on the corridor of the Odisha High Court, I can feel freshness, the vibrancy, that is all because of the great effort carried out under the leadership of Justice Gordon Ji and his team, as well as with the support of the lawyers. I would not like to dwell upon the issues at length, but I would only say that from my side, from the Government of India, all necessary support will always be provided. There are certain limitations with regards to the infrastructure of the High Court as per the 
standards being applied as per the rule, we are supposed to fund the projects for the lower judiciary. For the district courts, for the lower judiciary, we are providing good amount of money, but at times I find the money which we provide are not being utilized to the full extent. There are reasons, I will not go into the details of those reasons, but there are certain difficulties in implementation. Some financial rules are there, but despite that, on the ground, the state government agencies and the district judges are to work in tandem to ensure that all the money being allocated are utilized. Last year also, I find it difficult to utilize uh, all the funds which I had at my disposal. For the next uh, five year long term plan, we have already allocated 9,000 crore. Now that 9,000 crore is to be completely used up. I want more money to come from the budget. But I will seek more financial support only if we could utilize the available budget in hand. So the difficulty is to implement and utilize all the funds which are allocated. There are problems, I know, but we will have to work together. So I am planning to call a law minister's conference this month. And during the law minister's conference, I will talk to the law minister and the law secretary of the government to work out on certain modalities so that we can utilize the funds in a fast manner. For the high court, the bar allocate the fund early so that the bar people can have a good working standard office in the complex. I am very uh, open person. I don't hide things. I never speak in an indirect manner. I am always to the point because I believe in simplicity in fully transparent manner. I will always interact with the judges and the lawyers equally. Whenever I meet the judges in the Supreme Court or in the High Court, of course, Supreme Court being in Delhi, I have more frequent meeting with the judges of the Supreme Court. In High Court, I get the rare occasion to visit <clears throat> because we have 25 High Courts in our country and there are so many district courts also, I try to go and meet them also. Without <coughs> proper consultation, without proper coordination, nothing can function. Many people have this uh, mindset <coughs> which are uh, misunderstood, I feel, that judges, once they become judge, uh, they think that I am slightly away from the normal functioning of the government or all the uh, different uh, part of the country. There are so many sectors working, so uh, judiciary feels that slightly away from the other sector. The lawyers feel that they are the vehicle to provide justice and they function in a certain manner, but they feel they can't cross certain limit to reach out to the judges. I am very, very clear in my thinking that once a judge sits in his bench and delivers the judgment, nobody can question and nobody should question because we believe in independence of judiciary and I personally believe not only in the independence of judiciary but full strengthening of the judiciary. Judiciary must be protected, must be strengthened. But before and after delivery of justice, the judges are to interact with as much as possible with all sections of the society. We know the judges are to be treated special because they are not to be treated at par with the other sectors. But within the boundary of the function of the court, nobody should question the judges. But outside, we must interact with the judges as much as possible. In this digital world, nothing can be insulated from the larger stream of the society and being given access to the common people. The danger of the digital world is that they spare no one. I am also in the process of thinking 
what is to be done to regulate so that judges, judges and their judgment do not become a part of intense scrutiny. Scrutinize the judgment is okay, but to abuse the judgment or to abuse the judge must be prevented at any cost. If we have to protect the sanctity of the judiciary. So, while we are linked with the digital world, we must also ensure that there is limitation in which and the manner in which people can question the judges and the judgment. I'm very happy to learn from the Chief Justice today that before the conduct or the proceedings of the court, the courts are extremely sensitive. We cannot put into this at par with the proceedings of the parliament. Even parliament and assembly has its own sanctity. But in democracy, especially in a democracy like ours, it's very noisy, sometimes it is messy, but it's okay. We are a violent democracy. We can handle all these things. But if the judiciary proceedings become part of those messy and very loud kind of criticism, then it will hurt the core of Indian democracy. Judiciary is the core of Indian judiciary. So that is why I always feel that besides our common interests meeting ground at different level, we must put the judiciary and judges at different pedestal, which is in the interest of our own democracy and survival of our system. So, I am so I have a long standing relationship with people from Odisha. I think a lawyer is special. Thank you very much and my best wishes to both Honorable Chief Justice and the Honorable Judges of the Once again for inviting me here and giving me this honor and opportunity to have audience with you. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.